I lost my mom in a tragic way at an early age. In fact, I was so young that I didn't even know what had happened. I had to be told the whole story and through that process, there were few versions to it and my father was the person of interest. Growing up, I got caught up with hatred and resentment towards him, which nearly destroyed my life. It came to a point I couldn't stand the situation any longer. I wanted to be alone. I would just pack a bag and travel anywhere around the surrounding countries with no specific purpose. I wasn't even bothered about how I would make it in a foreign environment with less means. I just wanted an escape. I would sleep in the street, beg for food whenever I ran out of money. I was okay with that, even if it was really challenging. I felt alone but free and that was one of the best feelings. Years have passed, I settled down in my hometown. Socially and emotionally, I was doing better, but still, the desire to go somewhere far away was strong in me. And once again, I left, traveled around, and ended up settling down here in the Philippines. Got a decent job, and had a comfortable life, but still, I was haunted by the past events. To hide the pain that I have endured nearly my entire life so far, I took refuge in pleasure. I partied and partied hard, but still felt empty and unfulfilled. I found myself back and back again in the same patterns of craving for pleasure and avoiding pain. I became mentally and emotionally exhausted. Things were becoming meaningless and there was really nothing worth living for. I started to hate my lifestyle. I hated myself so much that I even thought dying was better. But there was one big problem. I didn't know what would happen to me when I'm dead. This made my project of possibly ending my life an impossible task. Suddenly, the fear of dying became a big concern to me and quickly scaled up into paranoia. Not knowing what death meant and what would happen to me when I die was the most terrifying experience. I would search random questions related to death and beyond. Throughout this period, I found myself reading all kinds of books and PDF until one day a link took me to a YouTube video, said Guru. A week passed, then months, and a couple of years of watching said Guru torture me at all levels. Everything I thought I knew was completely demolished by this man. The clarity sense and logic of his approach to various topics of life just kept drawing me closer and closer to him. I got humbled and humbled even more. Then, in December 2018, I decided to enroll for any engineering online. I didn't know how I was about to seal my freedom and transform my life forever. At the end of the program, I realized that my experience of life was my own making. Knowing this was beyond freedom. That moment I realized I was my own problem. I also knew I was part of the solution. I began to heal and experience life in a completely different way to the extent that whether a child with memory or gazing at a leaf, being moved by a gentle breeze can create a wave of bliss that can't be explained. I learned to live day by day, being aware that the most obvious thing in this existence is my presence and all other experience flow from it. My name is Dominique Sambiani. I'm from Togo, West Africa. And this is my in engineering story. <laughs>